The version you're installing from Synology's own package center is version 1.13. But if you go to Synology, um, Plex's own website, you select Synology there and go down, there's, even, there's a later version available. Hey guys, welcome back, and today I want to give you a quick tip about those out there that are using a Synology NAS as a Plex Media Server. First and foremost, it's worth mentioning that this was actually pointed out to me by someone else, and I never even spotted this, which is pretty disgusting given how many videos I've done about Plex. But once you set up your um, Synology NAS, no doubt you're going to be thinking, ah, I want to set myself up a Plex Media Server. I've got an idea. Why don't I head over to the package center on my Synology NAS? and install it and of course you would you would go onto your plex media server i'm sorry your synology nas i should say you'd go into the app center you'd scroll down and then boom there's plex media server there you'd either click install straight away or you'd click install there and you think woohoo i'm done you click install just like you would any other application on the synology nas it's really that straightforward but this is where we hit a bit of a stumbling block because someone else noticed and again before me which really disappoints me um, I'm disappointed in myself, not you guys, that the version you're installing from Synology's own package center is version 1.13. But if you go to Synology, um, Plex's own website, you select Synology there and go down, there's, even, there's a later version available from their store. And if you want, you can download this version here. Make sure you select the right CPU for your system click choose package, uh, select that version, and you will download a later version. As you can see there, 1.14.1.5, which is a later version than that on our Synology NAS. Sorry about the delay there on the screen, that's because of my capture recording software. So what you need to do, if you want to have a much better later version of Plex on your Synology NAS, is you mustn't install the stock application because this one, 1.13 is definitely older than that of 1.14 there's even later versions available so <clears throat> you've got two ways that you can go about doing this one you can go to plex manually and download the app there or on the nas itself go to the plex media server application open it up log in as you normally would with your plex media server app and go into the system settings. In the system settings, you'll have the option to check how modern or recent your version of Plex is. And from here, you can download the latest file. So from here, and it will say an update is available, 1.13, and then invite you to install manually. If you install manually, it just downloads the file, just like we're doing already. And the later version of the file will then be downloaded to you. Now, as good a version as this is, because you go to install manually, it'll just keep banging on that file there. Again, there are later versions of Plex out there. There's even a version 1.15 that we're going to install. So once you've done that, you can install this later version of Plex on your Synology NAS. To do that, go back into the package center and go to manual install. You don't even need to remove the existing version of Plex, although I do recommend that you do so. So if you in uninstall Plex that you've got on there, and again, you don't have to do that, but it's just, I would recommend just to do a clean break. Go to manual install, click browse, and find your later version. As I mentioned, I found a 1.15 version right now, the date of recording, February 2009. From here, click next, and you can install this newer version of Plex. Again, once that's done, you can load up the Plex uh, interface, and it's worth mentioning that the newer version of Plex has a number of new options that aren't currently available on uh, Plex Media Server stock application on the Synology Package Center. So I recommend all of you go out and install this newer version of Plex now for your Synology NAS to get a hold of those extra options. Once that's installed, as we see here as it's doing, we can load up Plex just like we did last time. Open this bad boy up, it will open Plex, probably get rid of those downloaded files from earlier. And it will kick us into the user interface. Sorry about the humming noise in the background, I've got two or three NASs on the go here. And then we can access 
this newer version of Plex. And once again, we'll go into the settings menu. And here we are, version 1.15, with all the extra applications, features and functionality open to you in that newer version. We will be doing a comparison of performance between the stock application and the newer version in case you guys are wondering about whether to upgrade or not and that will be in a future video but otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i found it helpful to support this channel and to help me make more videos for you cheerio